Welcome guys. So today we want to call talk about this called the airplane seat assignment uh, probability. So this problem is really famous in uh, the brain teaser and the interview. Okay, so I pr I I also personally got this uh, same problems. Okay, in the interview question. So let me uh, teach you how to solve it very quickly. Okay, so this is a brain teaser. So the, the okay, so you guys can first see the question. First, basically, you have a passenger and uh, it's like a seat, and the first passenger lost his ticket and picked the seat randomly, and the rest the the rest of passengers will uh take their own seats if still available or pick our seats randomly when they find their seats occupied. So for 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 n equals to one, and then what what and uh, the question is what's probability that the final person get his own seats? Okay, so n equals to one answer is one because it's very stupid. And the n equals to the two, it's very easy that n equals to two, you the answer is two. Okay. Okay, so let me tell you a solution. The solution is that n equals to one. Then we just return one. If n larger than one, the answer is always 0.5. Always 0.5. Okay, so uh so key point is that we want to prove this fact. Okay, so proof. So when n equals to one, then the answer is one. So when n equals to two. So you have A and B, two people, and uh, you the first one, the second one. So the first one, if the first one go to his own, own seat, then the second one got correct. If the first one get wrong, then the second one cannot get. So the answer is also 0.5. Okay. So how about n equals to three? So when n equals to three, we have one, two, three, uh, three seats, and uh, okay. So let me let me use A, B, C, and the one, two, three. Okay. Okay, so how about how to do this? Okay, so uh, there's a chance that the first one get the correct one, and in so in this case we have one third probability. Then in this case the the second will go to B because second people does not lose their ticket and the third people does not lose their ticket. So the answer is one with uh one with three, and uh, so this is this one. And another case is that the first one get to the get to the B, get to the B, or get to the C. Okay, so if the first one get to the B, uh, by, uh, by the way, if, if the first one get to the C, then there's no way they there's no way that the second people, uh, the third people can go go the put, go its position correctly. Okay, so there's a one third chance that uh, this one go into this. Okay, so you see, uh, if 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 this one go into this, then it becomes second one, the second person. So so now the second person has two position. I, if the second person take this, then there's no way that the third person can get correctly. If the second person go A, then he can go it correctly. So times half. So this is this. Okay. So I don't know whether you guys already see the pattern. Okay. So now we prove by a uh, mathematical induction. So I suppose the answer always be 0.5 if n is larger than two. Okay. Suppose we have n plus one people. Um. So there's a the one over n plus one chance that the first one, the first people, get the correct answer. Then the final, the final people must get the correct answer. And but there's another case that the uh, um, plus there's a if the these people get the this uh get this wrong wrong position, so there are total n minus one of them. Then suppose we put in here, okay. Then the second people uh will go it correctly, but for that people, but for like k people. That K people will start to will uh, cannot go into this, but this situation is the same as the previous before. Uh, it's the same as the previous before. Uh, previous before I sent a minus one person, so this is the answer. So we just compute this. Uh, okay, so sorry, it should be this. M plus one. Okay, so the answer still be point five. Still be point five. Okay, so this is the proof. This is a proof.
uh, and this is for a uh, famous brand teaser so I suggest that you just use mathematical induction to answer this question and uh, I will see you guys in the next video